what I'm going to share something with y'all. That might put me in a very negative light, yeah. Relationships are not my forte. You see if someone grabbed up my wife and saying, completely different ball game. I'll walk away from me and this has been like a therapy session. This is Joe Pugh for IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast. Delighted to be gin here at the Sports Val Arena here in Cardiff by the man himself, Gavin Gwynn. See you at ringside, thought I'd grab you for a chat. First of all, just the announcement, the rematch. Craig Woodruff on the big undercard of Joe Cordina, your former foe, that takes on Rakimov. Hopefully he can become a two-time IBF Super Featherweight World Champion, but how are you, first of all? Yeah, all good. Um, been training since Christmas, so I've just been taking over now and just waiting for the announcement, and um, I'm just buzzing that it's finally been announced, yeah. It's been a fair few months now since the first fight. We know it was close. You said yourself after the fight you wasn't happy with your performance. But just moving forward, away from the fight, time to reflect and moving into a new camp. What are we going to expect to see differently from you? Um, hopefully everything different because, honest, I, I believe I was rubbish in that fight. Uh, obviously it was good for the fans, but I just didn't perform. And obviously everyone knows social media now uh, I broke my hand. Um, that had a massive effect, but not too, too much the, the way I boxed. I just, I wore my heart on my sleeve and just, I was just trying to be tough in there. I was, it was just, wasn't me, like, yeah. We know from all of your fights, tennis and McComb, yeah, that yeah. you just come forward. You're yeah, just yeah. a fan-friendly fighter, to say the yeah. least. But do you think that kind of stunted your performance against Woodruff, knowing that with the hand injury? Yeah, definitely. Like I couldn't let my hands go. Like normally, I work inside and that, but I couldn't. I couldn't do nothing. Like the pain I was, I was in. I just ground the twelve rounds out really, and and that was probably one of the why I thought I box so crap really. Yeah. But for you mentally, is it kind of a good sign that okay, you still you didn't take the loss. Yeah. You you was injured, but now. Moving into the rematch, you're going to be 100% ready and to prove kind of the doubt is wrong. Yeah, definitely. Like, um, going in that fight, like, I was, I had every faith in myself that I was going to win with one hand. Like, I was, I'm so confident in myself. I even said to Tony, I'll beat him with one hand. I don't need two hands. And that's how confident I am in myself. And um, a bit bit naive. Um, I shouldn't have really done it, but... Um, You've got to pay the bills at the end of the day, and if I don't don't fight, I don't get paid. But um, I got a lot of sponsors on board now, who's making me financially secure, so I don't really have to worry about that side of it. So I'm just fully concentrating on boxing now and improving and getting the best out of myself. Yeah. Is that hand fully healed, ready for April? Yeah, definitely. Like I've been sparring all over Christmas, and I'm I'm buzzing about like being on the pads with Tony. I'm, I'm just like I want more, I want more. Well, like we done 14 rounds today. I just, I don't, I don't get tired. I just love it. We know that. We know you don't get tired, Gavin. But just when you got the call, obviously to be on the uh, chief support, I believe for yeah. a massive, massive fight, kind of for Cardiff, for Wales, to, to, for the whole of the United Kingdom. It's going to be a massive night of boxing. So just, what was it like to get that call? Yeah, well, I obviously seen um, Cordina's um, announcement first, and I was buzzing for him like I was buzzing for him I knew I was going to be on it because we had like little little inklings like but um, when when I had that uh, call off Lee he said he, we were on April 22nd I was I was over the moon like and what better show to be on than Joe Cordina's world title undercard like so yeah 100% and I've seen your fans they travel they move yeah. they move all around the country for you but they're not going to have to go far no. for this one so raucous atmosphere on there Oh, definitely. I, I'm like I said to everyone. I'll order 500 tickets. If they sell out, I might get more. But I know they probably get them off. Um, what's the ticket? Ticket hub is it or something like that? So I'll just I'll concentrate on the fight. And someone's going to sell a ticket to me. It's going to be mad there. They're all going to have these sombreros on the birth of Mexicans. Yeah, uh, I can't wait for it. I'm buzzing already. Like yeah. Just performance-wise, are you expecting anything else from Craig Woodruff? 
I don't think he can do any any better. Um, he, I, I, my honest opinion, I, th I thought he boxed well. Um, he, he can't walk me down. He's not strong enough to walk me down. He's not strong enough to hurt me. So the only thing I got to do is make myself better, yeah. Do you think it was a case of one of his best nights and one of your worst, maybe? Yeah, definitely. Like, that was his world title fight. Um, but it's going to be 10 times different this, this time round, yeah. Just see you ringside speaking to Joe Cordina. It's a big ask for him, but it's a fantastic fight. What do you think his chances are against Rakimov? Oh, I, I give him a massive chance in this fight. Um, he's got a, he's got a skill, the ability. He's got a decent chin as well. Because when I fought him, I, I can remember. I think it was the ninth round. I hit him with an uppercut. I thought his head was going to come off, and um, he stayed in it. So he's got a chin to back it up as well. So. Honest opinion, I think he's going to win on points over 12 rounds, I do, yeah. Do you think that he was wrong to get stripped for that title? 100%, 100%. But we all know what's that down to and it's down to money. But he gets his opportunity now to become two-time two world champion. So, yeah. Final one. Obviously, you never want to look past Craig Woodruff, especially after the last fight. But is there an option for you to move forward with Matt Trim? You know that you've been on their shows before, but it's a massive opportunity for your career moving forward, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. Like, um, uh, I, I, that's all my focus is on now is April 22nd. I win that, and it's winner stays on, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Excellent. So all being well, we'll see you on the zone for the future, going into 2023 and then potentially 2024. Gavin, I'll let you get on with watching the boxing. Thank you very much for speaking to IFL TV, and best of luck with the rematch, mate. Nice one. Thank you very much. Cheers, mate. Appreciate that. I'm going to share something with you. That might put me in a very negative light, yeah. Relationships are not my forte. <laughs> See if someone grabbed up my wife or something. Completely different ballgame. I'll walk away from here and this has been like a therapy session.